what I didn't get about Thanksgiving was that it was the only day of the year we had turkey. If it was so good, how come we were eating chicken three times a week? What was so special about turkey? To me, it was just a bigger chicken. And why did turkey have stuffing and not chicken? What was stuffing anyway? Was it part of the turkey? And if it was part of the turkey, how come it wasn't part of the chicken? The whole thing was, was very confusing. The one thing I could count on every Thanksgiving, and you could bank on it, was at the beginning of the meal, my mother saying, Larry and I like the dark meat. That's the one thing we had in common, dark meat. And then she'd start belittling all the white meat eaters at the table. I don't know if anyone can eat it, it's so dry. I think you're crazy. She'd say to my cousin Arthur, why don't you try the dark meat? Try it, try the dark meat. Leave me alone, Rosie. Arthur was very finicky. Oh, he loved to sip the soda. And if there was no ice or the cubes were too small, uh, forget it. The whole Thanksgiving was ruined. He'd sit there stewing for 10 minutes. He wouldn't say a word. And then all of a sudden, he'd blurt out, I don't know why there's no ice in here. How hard is it to make ice? You can't get bigger ice cubes? Whoa, whoa, do I have to bring my own ice? Also, it was a very small apartment for Thanksgiving dinner. My Uncle Leo was always too hot. So goddamn hot in here. Open a window, for Christ's sake. I'm suffocating. How the hell are you supposed to eat? Then he would take his shirt off, and he'd eat in his undershirt. And my mother, who was very busy preparing and serving, she never got to sit down, which bothered my father to no end. Rose, would you sit down, please? Rosie, sit down for Christ's sake. The whole goddamn thing's getting cold. Eat! Don't tell me to eat. Why are you eating that? What? And before you knew it, they'd be screaming at each other. And of course, you know, we'd just keep eating. Just another Brooklyn Thanksgiving.